Hey guys, it's episode 65 of Let's Play Fallout 3 Blind. I came over here to go to the, uh... Mire Lurk nest. And there is a... Deathclaw fighting them. Oh, it's the Enclave again. Remember? They were over here with the Deathclaw? What are they doing exactly? Uh-oh. Two can play at this game. This laser rifle game. Oh, come on. Stop it. What are they doing over here again? Do they just always show up in the same places? So they're just always going to be here now, or what? Ooh! I, oh, I know what I can do. I can check. I can check the thing. I can check the thing that I wanted to check. Where is it? General? No, it would be under status. Effect? I should have nerd rage effect right now, right? Oh yeah, also I put on the recon armor, which is also apparently called initiate armor for some reason in the effect menu because it gives five sneak and we're going to be doing the mire lurk thingy, so I thought it was important. Um, my health definitely went below 20%. I'm not wearing the medical armor though, so it didn't give me a med -X. I can give myself a med -X. I was definitely below 20% health. So wait, is it only while I'm specifically at below 20% health? In that case, just hit me a little bit more, guys. I want to test something. I need less than 20. Come on. Here we go. That should do it. Let's check the effects now. There it is. Nerd Rage. Damage resistance 50 from that, and then damage resistance 25 from Medic. So I guess they do stack, because they're both here. I suppose. Well, that's interesting. It's also a waste of stem packs. But you know, whatever. Now I know. Oh, he melted. That's okay. Oh, come on. I don't want to play Ring Around the Rosie with you, ma'am. Attack Pattern Gamma! Attack Pattern Gamma! Does that just mean stand there and shoot? Because you, keep... because you always say you're using that attack pattern, but your attack pattern never actually changes. I don't know, maybe you're just not very well trained. Alright. Woo, hey! Hey there! Hey there, spooky lobster man. Do you want to come over here with me? Whoop, 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 Yep. This looks like a, something out of a Godzilla TV special. Uh-oh. Godzilla won. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Can it swim? I don't guess it can swim, but it can probably jump danger. So he really can't come over here. He's just stuck. Well, that's fine. It's not like he has anything I need anyway. And here we are. Here we are, guys! And we are not going to kill any of them. I have stealth boys, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just be very, very sneaky. See that? I'm getting used to forcing locks open on that. Isn't that great? Uh oh. Oh, Wasteland buddy, you should not have come in here. This was the worst life choice you ever did darn diddly make. It is. Okay, let's... We need to put it... Uh oh. I took a stealth boy. So... Oh, cool! We can see through this thing. Ah! I love it. I love it. I love it. How long is the effect? Because it doesn't tell me how long it lasts. It just tells me what it does, what it does. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi and bye. Goodbye. Farewell. We are supposed to put the thing in where exactly? I'm assuming activating objects will negate the effect. If I take a stim pack, will that turn off the effect? Should I use third person mode so I can tell when it wears off? Or is it going to make a nice noise when it wears off or something? No, 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 no. Oh, I can activate things and it I'm still invisible. That's good to know. Hello, empty. I thought maybe there would be something in this room to help me and I'm still invisible. 
So where do I need to put it? There's another dead one. I feel like I need to put it in one of these nests. Is it this? Ooh. The observer can easily be hidden in the mass of eggs. Okay, hide it. Hide the observer. Okay, and get out. And get out. We should have looked through the doors. You know what? Nope. We're just going to get out. We're going to get out. We've done the objective. Let's leave. Uh-oh. Caution. Caution. I don't know how long the stealth boy lasts for, but it's lasting a really long time so far, and I have, like, 11 more of them. We did it! So, oh, look, it's see-through. Oh, I love it! I love it. This is so cool. Look. Oh, it's so neat. Bam. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. That's so great. This is like my new favorite thing. Okay, so is that it? Was there... Do not kill any Mirelurks in the Anchorage Worm. Well, I did that. Did it not count because... Because of the... Death Man killing one? Oh, well. It either counts or it doesn't. Let's go ahead and go back, I suppose. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. If the Enclave are here to kill them, then, I mean, I that's not my fault. She shouldn't penalize me for the actions of others. I mean, I guess it'll still make the result of her test not turn out so great, but... Whatever. Whatever. I don't even need to be wearing the recon armor anymore. Let's put the happy armor back on. The happy talkative one. Medic armor reporting for duty, ma'am. I love it. It's like uh, so so great. I can't believe I just found this thing at random. I wonder if like where all places is this armor located? Is it hard to get? So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king or priests or some sort of scaly community center? You're really into this, aren't you? Um. And they're, I put the observer in the eggs and they don't even know. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. I kind of am, aren't I? I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? I think they lose in fights against Deathclaw. Oh, wow. I That's too intelligent for me. They don't seem to fight each other, so there's no struggle for leadership. They seem mostly independent. I don't think there's any sort of society. Oh! I wish they had a little bubbly castle and they spent all day circling it. That would have been great. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I don't want... I feel like I want to use the charisma option, but I don't want to crush her dreams. Let's go with... Intellect. That's very scientific of you. Personally... I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp, perhaps. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Oh, great. She's going to give us a hat. Consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Okay. Six. That's a lot. And a shady hat. Well, I'll have to take a look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and get the next quest going. Great! I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. Okay, well, you know... But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. Oh, wow, well, so thanks. if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. I don't like that. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean... You're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I did just get myself beat up intentionally to test the medics and the nerd rage. And I, I think they do stack because, I mean, why wouldn't I think that? They're both active in the active effects menu. That's about as concise stacking info as I'm going to get, I guess. Well, I, I will get hurt eventually, whatever. Uh... What could it possibly be worth breaking my bones over? Did you know when bones break and reheal, they grow back tougher? In a way, you'd be repaying yourself. Once I make sure you survive, of course. Wow, her speech but skill is 100, guys. In a way, I can give you a modified environmental suit of mine. How's that sound? Okay, that sounds good. Okay. 
Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. All right. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. <laughs> oh, and be careful. Uh-huh. Oh, and be careful. Right. Bye. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. <laughs> All right. I guess we have to go do this now. So I was going to go out in the wasteland and let just like any random monster beat me down on my health, but I think the best way to ensure having crippled limbs is probably okay. just that. And it worked. Two of them, honestly. It looks like I made a bit of a mess, but eh, it's not my problem, Got is something it? To sell? Uh, no, I have well, how do you feel? broken legs. Please fix it. Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. I mean, I'd prefer you just fix it already, please. Uh... I... I like the... I like the intelligence option. I'm not going to tell her I want to hurt her. That's just me. Let's go with pain is abstract. Stay focused on definable things like survival. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Okay, well that's true. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Okay, sorry. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Well, with two broken legs, I'm probably not walking very well. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to oh. keep up your spirits. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Oh. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks. Okay. And it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Thank you. Is that everything for the second chapter? Absolutely. I'm glad to finish it up. I bet you're even happier, right? I kind of want to finish this Just book. Just one last chapter now, and it's much safer. I promise. I don't believe you. Oh, and here's your payment. Two big boxes full of ammo. Think of it as insurance, in case the next chapter isn't as safe as I predict. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be safe. All right, let's go ahead and see what it's about. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? Super deep. We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. Okay. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Well, what library is it? Uh, that's interesting. Let's see about the library. Oh, that sure saved me a lot of time. But I bet their book wouldn't have anything about exploding mole rats. That Wait. means it's better than your book. Books Immediately are where the better. The world kept its knowledge, and libraries are where it kept the books. And there's supposed to be one in Arlington. Oh, I've been past See there. See if it's still there, and if you can download records from its computer. Information dumps like those would be invaluable for rebuilding humanity. Well, then why hasn't anyone gone to the library before? What do I get for going to the library, Moira? The obvious answer would be a book, <laughs> but I guess there might not be any left there. So how about I pay you with good old-fashioned caps? Yeah, okay, sure. Who knows what you could buy with all those caps? It could be anything. It could even be a book. Wow, you're just insulting me now, aren't you? <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, I'll go to the library. Great. The library should be in Old Arlington. Yeah, I went past it. Not far from downtown. See if you can download the archives from its computer. I was getting a if broadcast get from those, a crazy lady And even the there. card catalog would be useful. Any little piece of information could help the book. And thus, humanity. Is the crazy lady going to be there? Well, okay. Bye. Have fun out there, okay? Sorry about the mess I made over there, you know. I got my eye on you. 
Yeah, I bet you do now that I blew my legs off in front of you with a grenade. Oh, jeez, guys. Okay, so do we want to do that now? Do we want to go to the library now? I think we might. Please don't freeze, game. There we go. There we go. Hello. You look sad. What? What? Why are you being so friendly? I go just... Away. Okay. My bad. Okay, guys. Then we've got our friends back. I had left them here in the house because I didn't want them interfering with the Meyer Lurks. Uh, you know how it is. So let's go to the library. I'm so happy. I already have it on the map, too. Oh, that's going to be great. I really hope that crazy lady has nothing to do with it, though. Like, do you remember that radio broadcast I listened to for a little while while we were escorting Dad to Rivet City? It was, like, nuts. I don't remember what she was talking about specifically, but it was nuts. Also, please don't crash, game. Sometimes wh up, when it stops on the on the loading screens, it freaks me out. Oh, hello. Now try and hide from this. Oh. Yeah! Ooh! Dog, okay. be careful. Who's next? Uh, hopefully not. Oh, dog me. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Oh, we're invisible now. Well, okay. I forgot that I put that on a keybind. At least now we can be a bit stealthy. I mean, I wasn't planning on going stealthy, but you know what? That's fine. Hold ooh, it. Ooh, this oh, area good. is under the authority Goodness. of the Brotherhood of Steel. Leave immediately. I'm a friend of you guys, okay? Whoa. Chill. I'm just exploring. You're Whoa. awfully brave to be walking around down here by yourself. How did you see me? Are you scavenging the ruins? I'm invisible. I... Uh... Yeah, I don't... Why should I tell you anything? I mean, okay, it's the Brotherhood. We're allies, aren't we? So maybe I shouldn't be rude. I don't really want to tell her I'm looking for records, because maybe she'll be like, Oh, that's Brotherhood business. Only the Brotherhood can know. So what if I just tell her I have just used what I can so find? So it goes with all of us. Yeah. Perhaps we can be of use to one another. Well, what do you want me to I do? I am Senior Scribe Yearling, Order of the Word. I have a proposal for you, if you're interested. I don't know that I'm interested. I mean, I do really like money, like, a lot. It's pretty useful. Let's go ahead and ask her if it involves money. I find that to be so with many wastelanders. Yeah, well, what do you expect? It may involve money, if you choose. Or there may be other forms of compensation. What? But, before you receive any reward at all, you will have to be willing to aid me in my task here in this library. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Mmm. <laughs> money. That's pretty funny. Money and the promise of mysterious compensation. I'm in. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, I'm in. If nothing else, I admire your commitment to your chosen focus. Okay. But, to the point. My task here is to collect the written works of those who came before in order to supplement the Brotherhood archives. Although most of the pre-war books have been destroyed, there are a few that have survived. But finding a book in the ruins is difficult. Okay. So, return here with any pre-war books that you find, and I will reward you for them. With money, because that's what you like. Okay. Do I have some right now? Wait, why are you collecting books? Books represent the collected knowledge of the world before. Everything from a child storybook to a detailed technical guide has value. By assembling and recording this knowledge, we scribes can analyze it and use it to further the goals of the Brotherhood. Whatever our elder decides that those goals are, that is. Okay. Is there a problem with your elder? It is not my place to criticize Elder Lyons. All I will say to an outsider is that he is not a traditionalist. That is all. Okay. What do you do in this library? We have set up this area as a forward operations center for our project. The books we collect can be recorded with the computer systems here. We then ship them, under escort, back to the Citadel for transcribing into the archives there. Okay. Can you help me access the library's archives? The front desk computer has access to the card catalogs, but it appears that it's lost the connection to the main archives. Here's the password. Now you might be able to find the central computer further in there, but I'm afraid you'll have to do that without me. I'm a scholar, not a fighter. What do you mean? There's still stuff to fight in here even though you've been hanging around? Wait a minute, do I actually have pre-war books? 
You have no such thing. Uh -huh. I do not have time for these jokes. I mean, I could have checked, but eh, whatever. Steel be with you. Okay, whatever that means. How did you see me? She must have the best eyesight ever. Maybe it's like a women's intuition or What's something like that. What's the big idea? I'm making fun of women's intuition, sorry. I probably shouldn't. I am a woman. Maybe I have intuition. Is that a thing? Uh, computer. Hi, computer. New membership? Oh, the card printer's jammed. Access to card catalog information. Transfer to local device. Oh, is that enough? Access the archives. Disputed. Check in books. <laughs> oh, 201 years overdue. Wow, well. How terrible is that? Uh huh. Well, uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Interesting. I wasn't expecting there to be a lady here. I mean, it makes sense, you know? The Brotherhood, that's what they do. That's their whole deal, is preserving things. It makes sense they would be here. So then, wait, who was the crazy lady I heard on the broadcast? I bet I can still access that broadcast. Honestly, let's check that. Ha, it's invisible. I can see you, Foxy. I can see you. What am I doing? I'm clicking the wrong buttons. I thought I got over my button clicking wrong button thing. Okay. Republic of America. That's the one. Doesn't work here. It doesn't work here. Well, that's okay. I'm no longer well rested. Well, that's okay too. I can get well rested, well rested again if I want to. Well rested, guys. I see. See, I just told you that I don't know. I don't even know how to speak sometimes and that I was surprised it didn't happen more and then boom now I'm cursed it's gonna happen all the time speaking nonsense tell you what is there anything particularly good in here no all right that's good I didn't want anything anyway so there's not gonna be any intact pre-war books in here is there because she's already taken all of them right Ooh. Hello, bathroom. Whoa! Hello. Did you die on the toilet like Elvis Presley? That's unfortunate. Uh, ooh! The dog is biting something, I think. Did you hear the growling? Did he find something? Well, if he found something, I want to find something. What's in here? Hello, bathrooms. Ah! Oh, don't put books in the toilet. I love you. What are you looking up for? This is like the, the second time I've seen you look up. Is that just an idle animation? Do you just look up because you're keeping your chin up? Because you're a happy guy? I bet that's what it is. He's just such a happy guy. Oh, there's actually a tin can in the locker. Oh, and now there's not. Uh, oh, blood. Oh, oh, hi. You guys scared me. What are you fighting? What's in here? Ooh, bandits. Okay, well, that's easy. Bandits are easy. Let's see if we can save the paladins. I don't want them to get hurt. Ooh, and we're still in stealth mode. So, that's pretty neat. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just, it's just bandits. Raiders, bandits. Bandits, raiders. Is there more of them over here? Hello, anything going on? Lots of grease. A toy car! Another toy car! We're gonna have so Get many up, toy cars by the end of this. Maybe I should set them set them out somewhere and it, so we can admire them and be like, she was best toy car collection ever. Oh, you spooked me! Don't do that! Don't do that! You're gonna give me a heart attack. Uh, oh, I'm back down here. Oh. No more stealth. I guess I wasted it. This building has much of the same layout as that one part of the museum. You know, the place where we got all the Lincoln stuff. I feel like it had a very similar building structure. See, there was like, this is where the turret was, and then I went up some stairs. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty similar. 
think so. I, I emptied those. I did empty those. Let's continue over here because I want to help the Brotherhood clean out this place. I don't want them to die, so we should probably be helping. Probably. Ooh, open. Yay. Yay. Okay, and I saw... There we go. Pre-war book. Pre-war book. So that's it. That's That's them. Right? That's the books that she wants. I've found a few of them. A calm heart must prevail. You are so sweet. Uh, he's such a sweetie. Are we going in here? Is this where we're going? Oh, look, yeah. Hi, Brotherhood. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Because I have lots of things. Oh, they put a guy in a cage. That's not very good. I don't like that. Why would they do that? That is mean. You guys are mean. Oh, and I can take your fingers. Oh, and we're over encumbered. Hey, buddy. Hey, strong man. Something troubling you, my friend. Yeah, I'm carrying too much stuff. That's the job for yes, the strong man. By all means, let's. Yay. You know what, guys? I did not even. I did not even look at my items from Moira. So I know we're in the middle of combat right now, but I'm gonna try on the fireman suit. Let's look at that. And it looks like the same mushroom suit as the radiation thing. That's pretty good. Oh, that was a nice headshot in the background there. I want to try on the shady hat. The picture in the menu here kind of looks like Lucas Sims hat. And I want to put on the combat armor sneak. Ooh, it's the exact same as our other hat. It has perception, but it also has sneak. So that's, that's like pretty good. Oh, and it looks just great. It looks just great. It would look better with a different outfit. But then again, it's not like the ball cap that I was rocking was actually matching anything either. I guess I can't be picky. Oh, I thought she had a strainer trainer for a minute, but this is actually the other one. The other weird bra outfit. I would not wear this. Why are you so bouncy? I'm gonna name you Bouncy Castle. Let's check this terminal here. Oh! Oh, it's... Oh, heck... Why? I hate that. That's the second time I've had a terminal explode on me for no reason. But this time, I figured it out. I saw, like, a thing attached to it, so it was rigged. I didn't notice that last time, but this time I did. Oh, sheet music book. I want that. Whoa, not the desk. I want the book. I want the sheet music. I thought that was a book, but it's actually just darts. I don't care about that. I like these little cute music stands. I would have one of those in my house if that was an option. There should be like a music theme with like a piano and stuff. What? Did I trip? <gasps> I did. I knew it. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's fine. This is gonna be one of those episodes. One of those scary episodes where everything is terrifying. <laughs> That's okay, those are probably the most entertaining, right? You know, where I'm just constantly freaking out. I mean, I'm always constantly freaking out, but sometimes more than others. All right, well, where did they go? Brotherhood people, hello, where did you go? Any books? 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 Keep an eye out for books, guys. We have to look for the books. We're like a crazy librarian on a book hunt. I mean, librarians are just crazy anyway, right? I'm sorry if you're a librarian. Um, I don't know. My librarians were always crazy. Weird. Who knows? Oh, I took a mug. I didn't mean to take the mug. I wanted to take the stuff from the ugly mug. Ha! That's right. I called you ugly. Boom. Oh, I just laid it on. Oh, no, it hit her face. It did. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's what I was going for. Uh, well, what do I need? Nothing. Paranoid about these machines now. Ooh, Lying. Congressional Style. That's a beautiful book. That's my favorite book. My personal favorite book is Lying Congressional Style. Even though I already have all of my speech points, I don't even really need it. So where did they go? Oh, this was the classroom. Cute! There's a lunchbox. And a pencil. 
I haven't seen any ghouls with pencils recently. I guess ghoul school is over, huh? Where did they go? Seriously, where did they go? I need to check the map. Instead of just complaining about not knowing where they went, I need to actually check the map. Okay, we're going down there. We're going to that door. Is that below us? Does this even have two levels? How to get to that door? I don't know how to get to that door. Really? It's like right there. I don't want to go back out there. I want to go over here. I should have followed them. Oh! Oh no, that one's like a little kid, isn't it? Oh, this is upsetting. I don't like it. I don't like this. Oh, I want the Duca Cola truck, though. None of these baby things are going to explode, right? Ooh, I can have lots of toys! Guys, I can have lots of toys. That's really nice. I mean, they're not using them anymore, so... It's fine, right? I'm going to just take all of that stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry, children. Don't worry, I'm not going to step on you. I'm going to be very nice to the child skellies. I do want all their toys, though. Oh, and we're over-encumbered. I'm over-encumbered with children's toys. Hey, strong man! What have you got on your mind? More importantly, what have I got in my backpack? Let's trade. Yes. Okay, so I can see it. I'm pretty sure this is where the door is. It's going to be up there somewhere. But I cannot get up there from down here so I think we have to do this a different way and we're just gonna do that next time guys we're just gonna do that next time so thanks as always for being here and I'll see you again next time bye